Hey guys, it's a little late, but Happy New Year! 2021 pretty much came and went just like that, and it was quite the hectic year to say the least. So here's hoping that 2022 will be a much, much better year. But speaking of 2021, late last year, we took a look at the VivoBook 13 Slate OLED from ASUS, and personally, it was a little underwhelming. But since that review, ASUS has confirmed with us that the unit we had back then was running on beta firmware. It was technically an engineering sample, something that we were actually not briefed on. So today, we finally have the retail version of the Slate OLED and we really put it through its paces. TLDR, it's better. It's actually quite a lot better. But with that said, there are still quite a number of things that you should know and you have to make sure before getting one. Now, if you're interested in all the nitty gritty details about this pretty unique 2 in 1 device, you can check out our previous review of it via the card in the corner up above or in the links via the description down below. Regardless, here's a quick summary. It's got a really nice and slick design, it's pretty lightweight, it even has quite a number of ports, especially for what it is, and even it comes with all the accessories included right off the box, and that's within the sticker price of just under 600 US dollars. Again, you're getting quite a lot for your money and just like before, I have to say that it's really commendable of ASUS. But the main highlight is right in the name, that OLED display. This OLED display is just downright fantastic and really gorgeous. There's really nothing much that I can nitpick about. It's a 13.3 inch OLED touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. It also supports 10 bit, covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, a million to one contrast ratio, a peak brightness of 550 nits with support for HDR True Black 500, and it's also Pantone validated. No matter what you do with the Slate OLED, visually, it's going to be a great experience. OLED really makes everything just pop, and it's superb for not just your everyday daily browsing and content consumption, but equally awesome as well for content creation. It's a solid display, and this is one thing that ASUS got really right, especially for the price. But now let's talk about the main reason as to why we are doing this follow-up review, and that's about the performance, or rather, the actual supposed performance that you are going to get on the retail unit. Specifications are the same, no changes here. We've got that Intel Pentium Silver N6000, 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM, and 256GB of NVMe SSD running at PCIe 3.0. As for the software and firmware, we've updated everything to the latest, including anything from Windows Update as well as the MyAsus app. So first up, Cinebench R23. Previously, that Pentium Silver N6000 managed about 1300 on the multi-core and about 400 on the single core. Now however, it managed a score of about 1700 on the multi-core and about 700 on the single core. That's about a 30% increase in performance for multi-core and pretty close to double for single core. And yes, it's the same as before, we are running on the best performance profile with it plugged in. Performance in creative applications such as Lightroom or Photoshop are also a little smoother, and it will be able to handle a couple more layers and slightly more intense edits just a tad more easily. As for games, well, there isn't much difference there. Although I have to say that I was at least able to get into a game of CSGO and move about, something which I couldn't even do the last time around. Of course, performance isn't great and that needs no explanation as to why that is. But overall, it is an improvement and definitely much appreciated. Intense use cases aside, if you're just going to use the Slate OLED for what it's supposed to be, that is, a secondary device to browse the web, do up some documents, and perhaps a little bit of photo editing or graphics work, it really is much better now compared to our first experience with it. That includes both using it plugged in with the best performance setting or off the grid on the balance setting. But like I said, while it's better, you do have to think whether such a device can fit into your lifestyle before you even think of getting one. Asus talks this as a secondary device, and I wholeheartedly agree. And with the retail unit now, with its performance and how well it's doing, I would say that it performs well as a secondary device. However, on that same line of thought, if it's a secondary device, that would mean that you have a primary device, which is usually much more powerful, be it a laptop or a desktop. So if you're one who uses more intensive applications such as Lightroom or Photoshop, the Slate OLED probably wouldn't be the first device you'll take out from your bag, I reckon. On the other hand, if you're going to use it solely for just browsing and media consumption, in which yes, it's going to perform great at it, 
an Android tablet or an iPad would still honestly be far more versatile with better battery life to boot. And at this point, you might argue that the Slate OLED can do much more than the tablet, for it runs full-fledged Windows 11 and will be able to run proper desktop applications. Which yes, it definitely can. But if you're going to use it for that purpose, whatever is your primary device for? Not to mention that the Slate OLED isn't going to be able to provide you with that actual performance that one would need for such applications, and you'll be left frustrated more often than not. Do you see the conundrum? I really like the Slate OLED, I really do. That OLED display is really gorgeous, it's pretty lightweight and portable, and it includes all the accessories in the box. But just taking a look at my lifestyle, it doesn't really have a place in it, and I reckon that might be the case for most of you out there as well. The only situation in which I can wholeheartedly recommend you getting the Slate OLED is if, if you're looking at getting this as your primary device and you don't need to do any kind of heavy task with a PC in general. If that's the case, this is going to perform really well and you'll be plenty happy with it. Again, for just about $600, US it is really value packed and with all the latest updates for the actual retail unit, you will get what you're paying for for what it's worth. Just remember to do your research and make sure that this is a device that would fit within your lifestyle and that you would actually use. And that's about it. It's much better now. Just make sure that it fits your lifestyle. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to, do check out the affiliate links in the description as well. If you do, thanks for the support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Till the next one. See ya!